chunk of cash will help local students succeed. Covington Independent Schools today unveiled a plan to help lower the digital dis disparity. James Pilter shows us how that's going to happen and how it will impact those children in poverty. Covington and other agencies are sinking $2.5 million of federal coronavirus CARES Act money into the program, aimed at getting high-tech devices into the hands of school kids and internet access to those who need it. The program calls for Cincinnati Bell to build out 125 new Wi-Fi hotspots in the city. The company is spending at least $700,000 on the project. Too many families have been blocked from the opportunities that you and I and we take for granted. Digital equity is not a vague, symbolic concept. We are firm believers that access to the internet is access to education and therefore access to hope. Covington School Superintendent Alvin Garrison also said that the system had previously considered putting Wi-Fi hotspots on buses before the new program was announced. Covington-based businesses Blair Technology Group and ReGadget are also participating. They will help get 1,900 computers into the homes of low-income students, working with the Houston-based nonprofit CompuDopt that has launched similar programs there and in other major cities like Chicago and Washington, D.C. Covington officials hope that the new program will also help bridge the digital divide for all its citizens. In Covington, James Pilcher, Local 12 News. The city of Covington is spending $1.25 million, the housing authority spending $400,000, and the school system another quarter million. For more information, head to CincinnatiPoverty.com.